About a week ago, I said that I'll be back to do six new paperback books to look out for in March. So here they are. Hi everyone, welcome back to Wild Reads. My name is Dave, welcome back to another video. I am back today to give you six brand new paperback books to look out for in the month of March. These have all been handpicked by me, a selection of books that I think you may be very interested in. So the first one, the first one is one that I read in hardback last year and it was absolutely fabulous and that is Tin Man by Sarah Winman. This is out on the 22nd of March, published by Tinder Press in its brand new paperback format with a, a lovely bit of blue on the cover. This was absolutely fantastic when I read it last year. It made it to my one of my books of the year. You will struggle, you really will struggle to find a book that has been more beautifully written than Tin Man. It's an absolute masterpiece. A very quick read, but an absolute treat is in store. If you haven't read Tin Man yet, please go and get yourself a copy of this because you are in for a real treat. It begins with a painting won in a raffle, 15 sunflowers hung on the wall by a woman who believes that men and boys are capable of beautiful things. And there are two boys, Ellis and Michael, who are inseparable, and the boys become men, and then Annie walks into their lives, and it changes nothing and everything. Tim Mann sees Sarah Winman follow the acclaimed success of When God Was a Rabbit and A Year of Marvellous Ways with a love letter to human kindness and friendship, loss and loving. As I said, I thoroughly enjoyed it when I read it last year. It's a beautiful, beautiful book. So that's Tim Mann published by Tinder Press out on the 22nd of March in paperback. Next up for you, the second book on the list is a book that did extremely well in hardback. This is The Children of Jocasta by Natalie Haynes. This is also out on the 22nd of March. This is published by Picador. This is a reimagining of the Oedipus and Antigone stories told from the perspectives of the women the myths overlooked. And the blurb says... Jocasta is just 15 when she is told that she must marry the King of Thebes, an old man she has never met. Her life has never been her own, and nor will it be, unless she outlives her strange, absent husband. Ismene is the same age when she is attacked in the palace she calls home. Since the day of her parents' tragic deaths a decade earlier, she has always longed to feel safe with the family she still has. But with a single act of violence, all that is about to change. With the turn of these two events, a tragedy is set in motion, but not as you would imagine it. In The Children of Jocasta, Natalie Haynes reimagines the Oedipus and Antigone stories from the perspectives of the two women, often overlooked, retelling the myth to reveal a new side of an ancient story. That's out on the 22nd of March, The Children of Jocasta by Natalie Haynes. Next up is a story from a woman that burst onto the scene a few years ago with the unlikely pilgrimage of Harold Fry, and it's it's a, an absolute pleasure to introduce her new book. When I read Harold Fry, I, I quickly realised that she was to become one of my favourite authors, and it's Rachel Joyce. She's back with her new paperback, The Music Shop, and this book is set in 1988, and it's about a guy called Frank who owns a music shop that sells vinyl. Frank has a lot of trouble connecting with people. And the, from the inside flap, it says, a beautiful novel, a tonic for the soul and a complete joy to read. It's 1988, Frank owns a music shop. It's jam packed with records of every speed, size and genre. Classical, jazz, punk. As long as it's vinyl, Frank sells it. Day after day, Frank finds his customers the music they need. Then into his life, walks Islay Brookman. Islay asks Frank to teach her about music. His instinct is to turn and run, and yet he is drawn to this strangely still, mysterious woman with her pea green coat and her eyes as black as vinyl. But Islay is not what she seems, and Frank has old wounds that threaten to reopen and a past he will never leave behind. This sounds absolutely brilliant. I'm going to get this as soon as it comes out. This is The Music Shop by the wonderful Rachel Joyce and it's published by Black Swan. 
Next up is also another book that did extremely well in hardback. It, it received a Bailey's Women's Prize nomination as well. This is Stay With Me by Ayabami Adebayo. This is published by Canongate and it's out on the 1st of March, published by Canongate. And it says it, Eugedi is hoping for a miracle. For a child, it's all her husband wants, all her mother-in-law wants, and she has tried everything. But when her relatives insist, upon a new wife, it is too much for Jujedi to bear. Unravelling against the social and political turbulence of 1980s Nigeria, Stay With Me is the story of the fragility of married love, the undoing of family, the power of grief, and the all-consuming bonds of motherhood. It's a tale about the desperate attempts we make to save ourselves and those we love from heartbreak. So that's Stay With Me, published by Canongate. It's out on the 1st of March. It's written by Ayabami Adebayo. The next book on the list is a sort of thriller stroke police procedural. This is written by Susie Steiner and it's called Persons Unknown. It's published by Random House and it's out on the 1st of March. As dusk falls, a young man staggers through a park, far from home, bleeding from a stab wound. He dies where he falls, cradled by a stranger, a woman's name on his lips in the last seconds of life. Detective Manon Bradshaw handles only cold cases. Five months pregnant in pursuit of a work-life balance rather than romantic love, she's focused on being a good mother to her two children. Her adopted 12-year-old son, Fly Dent, and the new baby. But the man died just yards from the police station where she works, so Manon can't help taking an interest. And as she slides in on the briefing, she learns that the victim, a banker from London worth millions, is more closely linked to her than she could have imagined. When the case begins to circle in on Manon's home and her family, she finds herself pitted against the colleagues she once held dear, Davy Walker and Harriet Harper. Can Manon separate what she knows about the people she loves from the suspicion hanging over them? Can she investigate the evidence just as she would with any other case? Persons Unknown shows acclaimed author Susie Steiner writing her most intricate, suspenseful novel yet. That sounds absolutely brilliant. Persons Unknown by Susie Steiner, it's out from Random House on the 1st of March. And the last book on the list is a book from Faber. This is by Sally Rooney. This is called Conversations with Friends. It's a book that I've been seeing doing the rounds on Booktube for some while now, albeit in its hardback format. This is the brand new paperback. This is out on the 1st of March, published by Faber and Faber. This is Francis is 21 years old, cool-headed and observant, a student in Dublin and an aspiring writer. At night, she performs spoken word with her best friend, Bobby who used to be her girlfriend. When they are interviewed and then befriended by Melissa, a well-known journalist who is married to Nick, an actor, they enter a world of beautiful houses, raucous dinner parties and holidays in Provence. But when Francis and Nick get unexpectedly closer, the sharply witty and emotion-averse Francis is forced to honestly confront her own vulnerabilities for the first time. So that's Conversations with Friends, written by Sally Rooney and published by Faber on the 1st of March. So until I see you again for another Booktube video, whatever you're doing this week, enjoy your books. I'll see you back here on Sunday for my February wrap-up. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.